Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we made it up to rank 17. We're making some progress. We got some shock launchers. We got a sick base for you, and we got some attack strategy uh, to break down. And of course, we'll go over the tech tree and all that stuff. Guys, appreciate it if you use that code chicken in the shop. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, a little disclaimer, I did end up getting uh, COVID, so I apologize in advance for any of these sniffling, coughing, wheezing, general uncomfortable, uh, no, uh, annoying breathing noises in advance. So with that said, <clears throat> let's get straight into the good stuff. So here's the new base. It's pretty awesome. And the thing is now we're only losing to Heavy Zooka or Grenadiers. Grenadiers are actually able to fully clear the bases, but they're a little bit slower than the Zookas. So it's kind of going to be one of those trade-off things. You can get Zookas early, you can push like crazy. Um, if not, we'll be a little bit behind, but at least we got up to rank 17 and we were able to maintain gold, uh, obviously today when we were opening up our chest. So getting back into the swing of things. So important things to note about this base is once you get the shock launchers, we do want to switch to the laser beam. Uh, that's really going to help against heavy Zookas and it's also better against the Grenadiers because, um, because that's going to, um, you know, rip through them. Uh, the microwave is totally out of range of both of them, I think. So, yeah, that's what we want to be doing for right now. There's the tech. Now, what do we want to work towards next? So, I think what we want to do next is probably get the Grenadiers and then just simply move forward. Boom mines are going to be nice. Um, and then it's just a grind, man. We'll go four. Four will be good. Um, but until we get to Bombardiers, we're really going to be... I don't know. It's going to be scary these next few days because it's going to be a fizzle meta for sure. So... Um, yeah, so like I said, we did get up to 17 just a bit ago uh, on the stream over on Chicken Gaming. You guys don't know, I have a channel where I do all my live streams. Um, it's just called Chicken Gaming, like I said. And yeah. Okay, so what do we want to show here? Let's show... We got... Yeah, we got three here. So let's go over the attack. Um, <clears throat> no, I screwed this one up, actually, I think. Yeah, okay, let's just get into it. Um, basically what we want to be doing is we want to go all heavies with the cluster grenade. I also want to give a shout out to Skull Crusher. I mainly got this attack strategy from him. Um, this is a weird base. I think we can actually just switch to battle orders here. So let's see. Um, I forgot to delay one boat of heavies, so we're going to get shocked into oblivion here. Um, but let's see... Okay, okay. We actually got kind of a nice delay from that shock, so let's see if we can uh, make this work. Right in the meat of that microwaver. Ouch, 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 ouch. Let's get out of there. And move quickly, please. Ooh, I don't know. Are we going to get shocked here or not? Are we going to get shocked here or not is the question. Brick might be able to stay back and eat some of them, as long as we're getting some damage. Um, thankfully, we do have max troop damage uh, on this account. So, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, that's actually important what just happened right there. You see how Brick's turn around and shooting the shock launcher? Um, every time a shock launcher hits Brick, she's going to retarget. Um, and that's important to know because she throws her little, like, uh, not her cluster grenade, but her just generic grenade thing. Um, every time she retargets, so... Oh, there we go, we got to fizzle. We got to fizzle against Mojo Jojo. Very cool. Um, alright, let's do one more. Well, we'll do a lot more, but we'll do, uh... <clears throat> we'll do another one here and see if we can get a regular base. That one was very easy, to be honest. We have a lot more tech than he does. Um... Okay, this guy doesn't have shocks. How much DVD? Uh, he's got enough DVD to make it interesting. Okay, so we're going to go... Uh, let's go cluster. <clears throat> and I'll show you how we can do these. So we go one, two, three, brick. And I believe this attack I'm stealing from uh, Pirate Pete. And then we go up like this. And what we want to do is we want to get two clusters. This is at max level brick. Two clusters will take down an engine room. And we really just got to survive here. And then we can go over here like that. 
Just got to keep the heavies in front with no shock launcher as long as we don't get any stupid targeting. Um, then we should be fine. There we go. Now we can go down here. And with no shock launcher, that's going to be sweet. Um, yeah, so this style of attack you can use against the shock launcher bases as well. It's just difficult. It's just hard to pull off. Um, you know, but that's what we're doing. That's a solid time. 310, 311, even better. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see what he's got going on. Okay, he's going heavy rush, so that's not going to work against this base anymore. Um, you can do a couple different things with a cluster grenade. You can free clear. I think he just got a little bit too aggressive there at the end. Um, but you can free clear, and it does work. Um, and just kind of walk your way through the base. Sometimes you have to do that on the really dirty ones. Um, basically, what the only base we don't want to see with these attacks we're doing, which I'm sure we'll see right now, nope, uh, is the front compact one. Kind of similar to the one I'm running right now. Um, okay, so I'll show you guys the other way. Um, so this guy's got shocks, right? So let's go like this. I don't know, the drop, just spread them out a little bit. It doesn't make a huge difference. You just don't want them all clustered up. Um, you don't want them all clustered up against the shock launcher bases because that has the potential to obviously, um, you know, get shock locked and then just fizzle out. So we want to avoid that if we can. So basically on, on this base, what we want to do is just kind of free clear up to the shock launcher and then we're just clustering the usual. Um, let's see. So what we can do here is we can use some clusters just to help clear stuff. Especially when we're on that uh, that shock launcher. Um, let's give him a sec. Okay, I gotta take that down. Okay, so now we're pretty well good to flare. And then we're gonna go over here. And we just wanna be quick with everything. Because obviously we don't want that microwaver. And then we can just go all the clusters, boom, 258. So that's solid. That's solid right there, guys. Look at that. Um, and let's see. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that's basically the, the different styles of attack that we're using right now. And that's the hardest part, um, especially in a defensive meta. It's just... Um, it's just knowing what the attacks are against specific bases because if you come up, uh, come up against a base that you don't know how to attack, um, you know, that and you just try different things or try something that works on a different style of base, doesn't necessarily work on the other one. That's the hardest thing. That's why I wanted to really focus on the attacks in this video because there is a few different ways of doing it. Um, yesterday we were able to use mechs, today not so much. Um, basically if, if, the, <clears throat> if, if the base has max cannons and extra cannons, then that's when we're going to run into trouble with the mechs because they're just going to rip right through them uh, fairly quickly. So do one more before we sign off here. Looking okay, looking okay. Um, and let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so this is against my base. He's got the DVD. This will be the test right here. This is a tough one. He doesn't have mines. It's the only thing saving us, really. Um, but he's got everything else, so... Um, <clears throat> I think what we want to do is, I don't really like either side. Um, yeah, I don't like either side. Honestly, on these, if we use battle orders, we can probably get two. Um, but I think what makes more sense is something like this and kind of come at it from an angle. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. Uh, kind of come at it from an angle, get them all, you know, not all together, ideally, which it looks like they're going to do anyways. Let's flare them up here, kind of. Uh, I kind of just put them all together. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And this, we're just going to simply free clear. We're going to free clear with the cluster grenade. We should get a pretty decent... Uh, Pretty good value. Now this is the base where Grenadiers are really going to shine because they essentially outrange everything and um, yeah. All right, let's go for it now because we're going to run out of juice here. Come on, Bricky. Get me one at least. Okay, now what we don't want to do here 
What we don't want to do here is retreat because then he knows he only needs to get one more. So we're going to force close the app. And all that does is it allows us to finish the match without having the opponent has retreated sign show up. So we'll see if uh, if that was going to work. I don't know. The only getting one ER is pretty unlikely to get a win. But um, yeah, let's see what he did. Oh, man, we were so close. We were so close. But let's see what he did here. All right, so he's going brick cluster right up the gut. He used one right away to clear out those mines. Um, kind of the same strategy, more or less. <clears throat> kind of the same. And yeah, the microwaver is going to be better for hits like this. That was actually really close. He was very close to fizzling there. Um, he just got more percentage, so kind of gave that one away. But but yeah, so microwaver is going to be better against those attacks, but... We really want to be able to slow down Zookas, and we want to rip into the Grens a little bit to slow them down even more, too. So uh, that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for sticking with me through the video. I know my voice is terrible, but uh, appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Catch you next one. Chicken is out. Back, back.